most mornings I'm going to give you a horrible fact a very scary fact we only wear 20% of our clothing 80% of the time get you I will get you we are separate we are one All the women that have been abused. I salute all the women that have managed to speak out and they've done something about it. See, all my young life I've experienced so much pain. Gotta take a stand, my life is in your hand. My mother, my father, light a candle every day, they say. Up this way. right across those stratas of society. We're able to cut across the classes and we're able to have one conversation. If we don't actually become free today financially, we are in trouble. We are seriously in trouble. The Birth Control Pool, ladies, you might know this, celebrates its 52nd anniversary this year. Which means that if you are 52 or older, there's a strong likelihood that your parents didn't want you. So I'm just kind of putting out there. We want to be the best wife, we want to be the best CEO, we want to be the best mother, we want to be the best, we want to be the vixen, the best vixen in bed. But is, is, is that in all of that, in all those roles, are we doing it to us? Are we doing it as ourselves? That life is really about doors. One door shuts, another one opens. That's how you shut the door and how you open the next one that's going to make a difference in your life. I tend to slam the door shut. Hopefully there's a foot stuck in the door somewhere. <laughs> Not really. But I always say to ladies, or to anyone, is when you shut that door, make sure all the baggage is behind it. Please girls, don't drag it along with you. It gets heavier and heavier. I just want to reflect on what Dada Madiba said in his first State of the Nation address in 1994, where he said freedom cannot be achieved unless women <coughs> have been emancipated from all forms of oppression. Amazingly, 19 years on, we are still working a battle to free women from prejudice, from abuse, violence, and oppression. It was an opportunity for me to go into, into business, where the people who responded positively to my endeavors were women. And I also like to really pay tribute to black South African women who in the 80s wanted to be pimped. <laughs> and I took a chance, I said, hey, man, there's money to be made. Go out there and pimp these women and make money. Hold somebody's hands. Hold other women's hands. And empower them and assist them. 
be the one who takes under her wing or under your wing, who mentors her, who introduces her to your network. Take her to walkabouts like this, pay a ticket for her so that she can be exposed. Exposure is one of the most profound benefits any one person can get. And may you continue to plow a seed. May you continue to make that corner brighter. Go love, go inspire, and go make a difference.